hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Daniel Kiki if you're new you're very welcome to this channel if you've been here before well, welcome back OG so guys I'm a little under the weather so my voice is not going to be as sharp as it used to be and then I'm just not looking and feeling so good so I'm going to be doing a hair video instead of doing like a talk uh, video like a lifestyle video okay so guys what I'm going to be showing you guys today is the difference between making calls with your flexi rod and making calls with your coiling wand guys i'm going to be showing all the equipment all the product i'm using i'm going to be as detailed as possible in this video okay guys so the first thing you want to have obviously will be your wig you can actually do this on your hair or on a mannequin but as i said i'm a little under the weather so i'm going to be doing this on a mannequin so this is the hair i'm working with this is a 20 um sorry uh is it 20 i think it's like 18 inches hair So the first thing you want to do, you want to make sure that your wig is aligned at the center of the mannequin. You get your T-pins. If you watched my previous video where I talk about the essentials for a wig owner, all these things, all the things I mentioned is what I'll be using in this video as well. So you just want to clip uh, the, the end of it, right? Uh, like so. Oosh. Is this, uh, I think I'm hitting, hitting a weft right there right like this the first thing I like to do is to put a hair serum on the hair yeah this is what I like to use I just take a few pumps of that so you just want to gently don't press it in uh, move it this way up like this and then rub it in rub it in different lines rub it in so that you just get full saturation and from here just looking at it i know if i've over used the hair serum or not so the next thing i want to do um, will be to flatten the closure this is a four by four closure i want to flatten it and as i told you you can use any tool to smoothen your or flatten your closure you could use your straightener you could use your coiler you could um you could use your hot comb and you could use your blow dryer so what I'll be using today is my blow dryer. Before I do that, I'm actually going to comb this hair. Sometimes I like to go in with my rat tail comb and just give the closure a little more combing since I'll be using a blow dryer to just get any tangle out of the way, like so. This brush right here, I'll be putting it on the highest heat, on the highest fan. So I just go in with my wax while it's still hot um, to just melt everything together and reduce the flyaways. Um, I will be dividing the hair into two equal sections, right? I'm going to be going um, through the center down to the back. If you watch my video of the essentials for every week owner, I mentioned this butterfly clips as you can see, so easy. If it was fuller, you can actually use two clips, okay, but one is going to get the job done. So guys, I'll be using my hair mousse for this together with my uh, flexi rod. These are the flexi rods. This is the size I'll be working with, okay. Now, I don't want to use water on it because um, I don't want it to take too much time to dry. Like if you're in a hurry, you want your, your curls popping as soon as possible, you actually want to stick to using um, your mousse or you could just use the flexi rod like that however those if you're going to use just flexi rod you probably want to leave the hair overnight okay that's like 12 hours so we just uh, the fastest way to get sharp uh, lasting curls or in a short period of time will be for you to use your styling mousse so guys i also want to say that i'll be dividing uh, the curls equally how I would divide it here the same way I'm going to divide it here for the curling one so we just get a really good uh, result what I like to do is to take out the front section and then I deal with the back so I'll be dividing it uh, <laughs> what I like to do is to use this part of the wig right this is where uh, is on top of your ear and just take out like wh wherever the hairline stops I take that out so I'm going to make a straight line this way Okay. Yes, guys, this is how I am for all wigs I make, but my clients' wigs as well. I'm very detailed with how I position my coils, how I pat the hair, because I want equal coils and equal volume on both sides. So 
so okay guys we've come to this side of the hair i will be dividing it um into three sections my comb pull it out right honestly two pumps is enough you don't need more than two pumps on it so i'll be doing the rolling mess so you want to twist roll twist roll twist roll twist roll twist like so right and where it ends is where you want to bend your flexi rod and then the top you bend the top as well so this is how i like to have mine going like this so this is what we are working with so guys i'm doing it forward i'm not doing it this way okay i will explain in another video the different types of curl directions you can work with okay so i'm coiling it inwards like this Okay guys, so we are down to the front. Now, it depends on how you want your curls to be. Do you want your curls to flip forward on your face or you want it to flip outwards on your face? Do you want it to start from your eyes or you want it to be above on the curls to start from your forehead or do you want it to start from your chin? So all those things are things you want to look out for when you are trying to curl the front of your head. This is very, very important. This is where... Um, this sits above your ear and if you see if it's above your ear that means it's cutting right under your eyes so you want if you want your your first course to start from here you don't want to separate this you want to coil it as it is do you understand so <coughs> you want to coil it as it is however most times curls tend to drop okay so if you call here you probably would drop down because this hair is not properly layered if it was properly layered I would actually stick to coiling it from here like I wouldn't have to section it like this and then curl but because it's not layered okay as I said there's so much into this whole hair styling uh, thing it's just not surface so what I want to do now is divide it into two sections right so I'm going to be targeting my eyebrows which will be around well, let's just take a guess that's probably um, a pinch so like a pinch like this away so let's just say we work with this part right because the curls will fall however if this hair was layered I probably will be missing this step so before this is what I was doing however this is what I am going to be doing can you see out this way, out this way. now the possibility of this cause not dropping is higher because I'm using a styling mousse and I'm using a coiling a flexi rod and those cause they usually tend to be very very stable so i'm just taking a rix here but let's just roll with it so i'll try not to bend this one because if i bend it i'm going to have like a dent on this top part so i try to leave it as it is so guys we are done for the half section of this i'm going to be turning it around for you to see so this is what it looks like so far right and did a great job and then we'll go to the other part of it which will be our coiling wand this is my wand this is the wand i'll be using okay i'll be needing my gloves right for heat okay i, I like using my gloves especially if i'm used doing um tight curls uh i need this and i'll be using my pins as well okay to clip each section so i'll be dividing the hair the same amount as i divided this section of the hair so let's get to it so guys not to cheat our this section of the hair we actually applied something to make the curls on the other side last i'm going to be using my 
shadow butterfly um, sorry my butterfly shadow um, hot spray on this section of the hair just to you know give it a little uh, more grip on the curls so that we are not cheating this section of the hair um, as well so you could use any um, spray okay like a, a finishing spray rather yeah so it's like a finishing spray so I'm going to be doing it this way okay guys if you're doing this type of course I cannot emphasize the need to buy a glove you don't want to burn your hand you want to make sure that you're getting the curls in and you don't want to burn your hand because you actually have to hold it at the tip as well if you need to check it you could just you know this way if wait for a couple of minutes so again guys as you can see we're giving the exact same coils Okay guys, we have come to the moment of truth. <laughs> so I'll be taking down the cord. I will obviously start where I started from. So let's just take this, turn this around this way. And we're going to start taking our curls off. So what you want to do is to stretch it and just um, unravel it right like so. So as you can see, very beautiful coil. So we're going to do the same for everything. Yeah, it's actually dry now so i left it for approximately <sighs> six hours Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like here. I'm going to definitely uh, comb it out, but you can see the curls are nice. This one I tried to, I was a little rough on it, so you can see uh, you need to be careful because this actually, the curls actually goes distressed. So that's for this side. So let's go to the other side. So as you can see, the pins were already falling out. Okay. what I will be doing is to just give you guys like a 360 of it so for the front you can see um, our one curl because it was wet we we're able to manage the curls properly however you can see some are not uh, forming as they should let me just turn the mannequin head this way so this side is our one curl side <laughs> and then this side is our coiling iron side so i'm going to be combing it out for you guys to see some 
and I'll be starting one after the other right so gently now you don't have to comb it if you don't want to comb it you can actually just um, spread it with your fingers right so I always use a white tooth comb first As you can see, it looks beautiful, it looks nice, it looks lush. This is it from the back as well. I'll be showing you what it looks like from the front. So as I said, remember what I said? This is going to form like a bang here, okay? And um, this is just what it's going to look like. Now, if you want to, um, so this is the basic way to loosen up curls. Anything else, you actually want to start training the curls to go the way you want them to go. So we're going to do the same for this side, which is the one curl side. This is our curling one side. As you can see, the curls are not as uniform as the other side. It's tighter. So I'm just going to be taking it back and taking this out for you to see the difference. So can you see the difference in the curls this way and this way? You can see that these curls are tighter, they are more pronounced, um, they're a little frizzy but this is tighter, this side which is the curling one side and then you can see that this side is actually like loose and you know just more on the natural side so I'm going to give it a, um, a harder brushing. So I'm just let me turn to the front for you to see. So this is what it looks like in front as well okay so this is what it looks like in front this side is more distressed it's, it's like shouty the colors are tinier and we did the same spacing for both of them and then you can see this side is softer i mean the same color pattern but this side is softer so i'll be going in with this brush to just really give it like a nice pattern right And as you can see, this is our one coil side, right? So you can see the coils are very distressed uh, compared to the other side, which is, um, oops, Ish, this mannequin is tight. Okay, uh, which is this side, right? So as you can see, this side is more tamed, even though the coils are not as heavy as the other side, but this side looks more tamed, it looks luscious, the coils doesn't look too tight. Uh, and it's easy to comb Calling wand and here is the flexi rod. So combing them together I mean, there's not much difference. We'll still go with this because this is more natural. This is just freezy I mean, it might not be showing on camera, but it's actually giving freezy vibes here Why here is giving subtle classy vibes. So that's it guys. See you guys with my next video Bye